All right. When I first go to feed them, feed these little baby opossums, um, I use a Q-tip and I dip it down in that warm water I have sitting here. And I know a lot of people think that they need to go number two every single time, but they don't. I mean, don't keep rubbing them raw and, you know, trying to get them to go poop every time that they eat because, in my experience, they don't have to poop each time. So, I just do it a little bit. That one had a pretty good little... Okay, so the 1.8 wasn't working with her because she had her mouth clammed up shut. And I don't want to sit there and keep trying and trying and trying with that 1.8 and it, it takes forever. And I think that's a reason why a lot of people gives up because they say that they can't get the tube in the mouth. And then I've heard, well, you can't use a 2.8 on these little baby possums this size, but yes, you can because you just don't run it down to their stomach. So I'm gonna put it right under her nose. And it's already in there, so. I'm going to get the syringe again and do the tap thing. And like I said, it will come out their mouth a little bit. But every time it does, if it gets up around the nose, I will um, wipe her nose off because I don't want it getting in, in her nose. So I tap, tap, tap. Wipe the nose off. It's mouth. I'm going to pull the tube out. I'm going to hold it real close up next to it so you'll know exactly how far it's in there. Right there. And sometimes it's not even that far. So that right there, and it just goes into its mouth. It don't go into its throat at all. And then after I get that part done, I get some my warm water that I have ready with my finger on, with, on my finger. And I don't put oil on them. I put warm water. And because if you've ever been slubbed by an opossum you know that their slubbing is just like being dumped water on so i get them good and wet and i use viva cloth paper towels and i have a warm damp um, paper towel in their pouch like this and there's nine more little babies in there 